making mushroom soup. All right, show of hands, who loves cream of mushroom soup? Show of hands, who cannot eat cream of mushroom soup because there's cream in it and you're lactose intolerant? Or maybe you just don't want to eat it because you're trying to go more plant-based or you're trying to save the animals. Either way, I don't know about you guys, but I love cream of mushroom soup. I grew up eating this stuff, Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. I look at the ingredients now and I'm slightly mortified that I used to eat this growing up. Canola, soybean oil, wheat flour, cream, monosodium glutamate, MSG, the list goes on. Why would you eat this when you can make it yourself out of real, whole food, plant-based ingredients? Yes, and that's what we're doing today. Let's get this out of here. Hey guys, I'm Danae Johnson, the founder of Hello Well, a YouTube channel designed to help both you and I live the most happy, healthy, vibrant life possible. And yeah, we believe that that starts with a whole food, plant-based diet. So today we are gonna make vegan, cream of mushroom soup. Let's get started. So for today's recipe, you're gonna need one white onion. You are gonna need mushrooms. Obviously that is the base of a mushroom soup. Now I've actually gone with two different types of mushrooms this time, you guys. I've gone with your uh, standard cremony mushrooms, which are usually in cream of mushroom soup, but I've also gotten some shiitake mushrooms as well. There's been a lot of research coming out lately about certain types of mushrooms, how amazing they are for your health. Specifically, they have cancer fighting properties. So shiitake mushrooms, are one of those kinds of mushrooms so I've really been trying to incorporate them into my cooking as much as possible we're gonna need some salt and pepper some fresh thyme a couple pieces of garlic I'm gonna use for the base to make it creamy we've got one can of full fat coconut milk and one can of light coconut milk you're gonna need a little bit of coconut oil some mushroom broth and then I know this is a health channel, you guys, but at Hello Well, we believe in balance. And sometimes that balance means wine. So you can opt out of this. You don't have to put this into your soup if you do not desire, but it does give it a really nice flavor. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of white wine, a dry white wine, and I'm using Sauvignon Blanc today. So that's all you're gonna need. Let's get cooking. So we're gonna start you guys by chopping the mushrooms. Get yourself a big old knife and just like go to town on this. Just chop it up, all right? You might need to pull up your sleeves for this one. So we're gonna start just by prepping the food. So just cut up all your mushrooms and then we're gonna cut the white onion after this. All right, now we're gonna chop up this onion. Try not to cry. Have you guys tried those onion goggles? Like those goggles that you can actually wear while you're cutting onions that apparently stop you from crying and making your eyes water? I have not tried them. I feel like it would be a good investment. All right, so now usually what I do when I cut onions, I cut slices down the onion lengthwise like this, all along, and then I just turn the onion back over like that and just dice it. Tears are starting. Oh, I need to get a tissue. All right, good as new. All right, so we got all our veggies prepped now. I am now going to turn the camera around over to my stove and show you guys how to make this darn thing. Okay, so now we're actually going to the stove. You're gonna turn your stove on high. We're gonna add one tablespoon of coconut oil. I really like this brand. It's raw, it's virgin, it's organic. So you're gonna use one tablespoon of coconut oil. Just put that in your pot, let it heat up. All right, so once your oil is hot, you're going to add your onions to your pot and basically stir your onions for about two minutes until they're translucent. And you're gonna do this on about a medium heat because you don't wanna burn your onions. All right, so once your onions have cooked for about two minutes, we're gonna add our big bowl of chopped mushrooms. So we've added our mushrooms, we're gonna cook these, stir and cook for about five minutes. Once again, still over medium heat. So through this five minutes, the mushrooms are gonna start to break down, they're gonna cook down, they're gonna get smaller, and you're gonna see that they start to release a little bit of liquid. All right, so after you've cooked your mushrooms for five minutes, you're now going to add the garlic and the thyme garlic. So what you guys are gonna wanna do with the thyme, you're not gonna wanna throw the entire stem in. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually just push up with your nail from the bottom of the stem up and you're just wanting to get the little greenery off. So just push up. But that's what you want. Time after time. 
All right, so after you've got your thyme, you're gonna to wanna to add that in. You've got your thyme, your garlic in, and just stir that up. Now it's time to add the wine. Once again, you can omit this, but it does give it a really nice flavor. So we're gonna add one cup of white wine, yes. And feel free to taste test it, by the way. We don't judge. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to add your wine and simmer this for five minutes. All right, guys, so once that's simmered for five minutes, you're now going to add in some salt and pepper, your mushroom broth, and the coconut milk. All right, guys, so after the soup is simmered for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna take half of the batch of soup and I'm gonna put it in my Vitamix and I'm gonna blend it up so that there aren't so many chunks of mushrooms. If you like hella chunks of mushrooms, well then just leave it, but I find it's a little too much, so I like to blend about a half of the batch of soup. So I'm just ladling some of the soup into my Vitamix. Okay, I feel like this is how much I wanna blend. Put on the lid. Turn that bad boy on. All right. Just pour it back in the pot. Dunzos. All right, guys, that's it. This week's recipe, our vegan cream of mushroom soup. If you guys liked the video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you make it, definitely comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you guys think. If there are any other recipes that you want me to make, I personally love trying to think of foods that I enjoyed growing up like this cream of mushroom soup that maybe aren't so healthy, but then you want me to try and find a healthier version of that recipe for you, comment below, let me know what you'd like me to make, and I will be more than happy to do that for you guys. Also, subscribe if you want to be notified every week. I put out new videos, plant-based recipes. Hit the subscribe button, and they will be sent to you. You will be notified. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Girl,